In this video, we will be showing you how to take a large sea size bearing out of most yo-yos. In this case, we'll be using the Yo-Yo Factory Shutter and the Yo-Yo Factory Multi-Tool, which includes an axle removal tool, a bearing removal tool, and a string cutter. And you can find all these products on yoyotricks.com. If you happen to have a half spec or a slim bearing, which comes in the Sage, all you need to do is take a pair of needle nose pliers, which have a circular cutout that perfectly fit the bearing, open it up, put it on top of the bearing, give it a slight little squeeze, and wiggle right out. Now back to the shutter. First thing you want to do is unscrew the yo-yo, and you'll have one of two scenarios. You'll either have the axle in on the same side as the bearing, like we have here, or the axle will be on the other side, which makes it a lot easier. The first thing you want to do is take the axle removal tool on the multi-tool, and you're going to slide it into the axle and rotate it counterclockwise to take this axle out. The step isn't necessary, but it does make it a lot easier. And once you've done that, you need to put the bearing removal tool into the bearing like this. And all that you need to do is give it a slight little wiggle back and forth for a couple seconds, and the bearing will come right out. If you're having some difficulty with this, you can ask mom or dad and they should be able to help you too. After a couple of wiggles, just like this, the bearing should pop right out. wants to fight back with me today. Let's slowly wiggling back and forth and the bearing comes out. So as you can see, sometimes it takes a couple more wiggles and sometimes it doesn't. You also get a scenario where the axle is in the other side. You'll see there's no hexagonal nut. And in this case, you need to just take a pair of pliers and unscrew it just a little bit. And then you can unscrew the rest of the axle with your fingers. It's pretty easy. And now once the bearing is out, you can either lube it or you can upgrade it to a center track bearing, which you can also find on yoyotricks.com. The reason the wiggle method works is because there is what's called a bearing taper. And you can see there's a slight sloped ridge on the inside of the bearing seat. And that allows the pressure of the wiggling to go against the flat surface of the bearing and make it pop out a lot easier. Once you've done that, then you'll need to put your yo back together. What you want to do is screw in the axle with the bearing removal tool, and it makes your yo play a lot better and makes it perfectly aligned. Then you'll put your bearing in the yo-yo and simply screw it back together. And that is how you take a C-size bearing out of most yo-yos. 